Let's go ahead and meet the players. Today is August 3rd, 2021, and I thought I'd give a quick update on the peppers. So in the first pepper bed, the six plants are two mammoth jalapenos. We've gotten 21 peppers off of these plants combined already. I made 42 stuffed jalapenos. Lots more already popping out. Um, here in the middle, we have two hot chocolate habaneros, and they're loaded down, ripening up. Here on the end, we have a Carolina Reaper, and it's putting out peppers, and some of them are starting to ripen. And we have our Trinidad Scorpion, and it is putting out peppers and starting to ripen, and we got one down here gonna be taken off the plant any day and uh, I'll definitely try to capture that so these pepper plants here are a little bit younger a little bit less mature we have a Carolina Reaper here putting peppers on we got a Thai chili and uh, it's been throwing out peppers we've been harvesting them letting them go red before we pick them Poblano working on it got, got one We'll see. Got another Trinidad Scorpion. And it's putting to putting on. It's trying to put on some peppers. Oh, we got lots of ginger in there, by the way. Got another Reaper. Uh, no, no peppers yet. Ah, it's trying to. It's trying to make a pepper. Like I said these are a little bit younger. Another Thai chili. Like I said I've been getting peppers off of these. Lots of them about to come off. Here's another poblano. Again, they're, they're trying. And finally another scorpion. And it's just starting to put on peppers. So there we go. Hopefully in the next day or two, we'll come back out here and uh, harvest our first scorpion. And you know what that means. Our first scorpion taste test. Have a good one, guys. Let's go harvest our first Trinidad scorpion. This pepper had the world record in 2012, and there's a number of variants that range from 1.2 million scoville units up to 2 million. Yeah, much hotter than anything I've ever eaten. But uh, we got one ready to go, so let's get it off the plant and get it into our mouth. So we'll pull at least one Trinidad Scorpion off, but uh, we'll, we'll check to see if there are any others that are, are ready to come. Let's see here. Getting pretty red. This one, looking good. This is the one I really want to get off the ground. You guys can see that. Let's see. I think we're going to go ahead and pop it up. See, see some chocolates turning chocolate over there. That's for another day. For now, let's uh, get these two beauties up to the deck and take a closer look at them. 
Look at these beautiful peppers. Aren't they gorgeous? I don't know if, uh, how well the video was going to pick up the coloring, but they're both pretty, it's, I would call it a, a blood orange, deep orange, going red. This is the one that was resting on the wood chip. Um, and I didn't want to do that too long. I think what we're going to do is let these go 24 hours off the plant. Um, see if they continue to ripen a little more. Again, they, they're pretty darn red. And uh, all these, of course, are edible at all stages. But the riper it gets, the hotter it gets, and um, possibly more flavorful. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to let these sit for 24 hours. And uh, whatever happens to them, um, tomorrow evening we will we'll taste, we'll taste them. And uh, if you're watching this on the video, then uh, that probably means uh, just a, a minute or two from now. But what, what I am going to do is I'm going to sneak in a little taste test of a Thai hot chili. Um, we, we've, had, we've actually eaten quite a bit of these, um, and they're very good. But uh, I want to try to uh, capture my first impressions. Um, on the Scoville scale, if uh, jalapenos are like 2,500 to 8,000 Scoville units, and if these um, are anywhere from 1.2 million to 2 million Scoville units, this sits in about the Thai chili uh, 50 to 100,000 Scoville units. Um, so it should be considerably hotter than the jalapeno, um, been a hot, you know, 20 plus times hotter than the hottest jalapeno. Um, but it should be tame compared to these, which we'll find out shortly here. But for now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a taste of this and um, give my review, and we'll go from there. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Um, now, when I give my impressions of these peppers, you should understand that I am not experienced nor knowledgeable uh, in pepper tasting. So this is not an expert opinion. This is actually a behind the scenes of someone learning how to taste peppers. So uh, let's just give it a go. Tip the tongue immediately. It's good. It's uh, stinging, but manageable. Um, reminds me of uh, generic red pepper. I'm getting red pepper dishes. He's done a little bit. I get in the back of my throat. I already feel it a little bit in the back of the throat, and then it, it kind of skips the chest, gets down in here. Um, we'll give us a couple minutes. See if anything else happens. I'm getting the burps. I do my kombucha, which will which will tame it down pretty quick, I think. But I don't want to do that too quick, right? Yeah. So I think I'll hiccup and burp for a couple more minutes. Um, otherwise, the flavor's real good. Like I said, I don't know what to compare it to. It immediately reminded me of some Indian dishes that are that is red pepper <laughs> uh, so yeah that's you know I like it so I need to eat more pepper so I know what to compare it to so just stay tuned in just uh, probably about 30 seconds you'll see me go uh, for our Trinidad Scorpion and that should be funny and I promise you that if I puke it, I will keep the camera rolling thank you